Hello and welcome back to White Lines Football. Lewis here today, here with the first issue of Near Post News. Now, Near Post News is a show that we're going to be bringing to you weekly, every single Thursday, to keep you up to date with all the news that's going on in the football world globally. So you're going to have an idea about everything that's going on, because we're going to provide you with that news. We're going to be covering 10 topics every single week, so let's get into the first issue. And the first piece of news we have today is that Jason Punchin, the Crystal Palace captain, has been found with a weapon and has been arrested. Now, he's been charged with assault and carrying a weapon, which is after a fight outside a nightclub on Sunday, I believe. Uh, he's been released on bail and he is available for a Holstein side for selection this weekend against Swansea. So not great news for Jason. The next piece of news we have is involving Ajax. Uh, we're gonna go over to Holland and there's a bit of a coach and reshuffle there. Uh, they've got rid of both their assistant head coaches and their head coach. Um, assistant coach, probably the biggest name you're gonna know here is Dennis Burkamp. He's left his role there as his head coach, um, Marcel Kaiser and the other assistant, Henny Spickerman, uh, the general manager, uh, a name that's probably familiar to you Premier League fans out there, uh, Edwin van der Sar um, has said the decision has come after a le European elimination and a poor start to the season. Ajax lost out in Champions League qualifying third round to OSG Nice um, on away goals and they are currently sit second in Eredivisie, uh, five points behind leaders PSV. Next up we go to Scotland as Celtic lost their 69 match domestic unbeaten run. This came at a shocking 4-0 defeat away to Hearts. Um, players were proud, the ma uh, fans were proud, Rodgers was proud. I think Rodgers deserves a lot of credit because there's only so much you can do as Celtic manager. Uh, they're still in Europe, you know, they had this massive domestic run, they're probably going to win the Scottish League anyway, let's be honest. And yeah, it's really good for Celtic, but that run has finished. Now we are back in England as Manuel Lanzini has become the second Premier League player to be charged with diving and successfully deceiving a match official uh, after Omar Nyas of Everton, obviously we covered that. On the podcast, now Lanzini has been charged after being judged to have dived um, after a challenge from Eric Peters at the weekend in the uh, West Ham's 3-0 victory over Stoke City um, to win a penalty. Mark Noble went on to score the penalty, um, which obviously played a big role in the game. So Lanzini is now going to miss two games. He's already missed one against Arsenal in their defeat. Um, to the Gunners in the Carabao Cup in the week and he's going to miss one more in the Premier League this weekend. Speaking of Arsenal, legend Thomas Rosicki has retired from football at the grand age of 37 years old. He said he can no longer prepare his body for what is required. Um, he also had an injury hit spell at the Gunners in a spell that uh, endured 10 years but he was loved by fans. He did well, he did play um, but the former Dortmund and Prague defender. <clears throat> he's Definitely a midfielder, I have no idea why I said defender. Has called it a day on his career. In the Premier League now, and Ahmed Hegazi has made his loan move to West Bromwich Albion permanent in the week just gone. Uh, the former Al Ali defender makes the move permanent for an undisclosed fee after joining on loan in the summer. Uh, he's done really well for West Brom, we know he nicked a couple of goals earlier on in the season. He's been ever present in that uh, in that back line under both Pulis and Bardu, and now the move is per uh, permanent for an undisclosed fee. Another Premier League defender now, and Burnley centre-back James Tarkowski, who's been very impressive this season, is going to face a three-match spell on the sidelines after he was found guilty of violent conduct against Bryson striker Glenn Murray, who was found guilty of swinging his arm into the chest of Murray, um, and now he's going to be missing the next three games. It's a shame because he's been good this season next to Ben Mee, but now he's going to be facing a little spell out. More retirement now, and Brazilian legend Kaká has retired from the game, aged 35. Um, short period of time, of course, he was a world record after moving to Real Madrid for a fee of £56 million before Ronaldo moved there um, in the region of about £80 million the same summer. He won many honours, such as the Champions League, the World Cup, and the Ballon d'Or. He's in a very few number, I think about eight people to have done that. Um, winning the Ballon d'Or back in 2007 and this utter legend of the game has retired with Thomas Rosicki. One team that's not been quite so successful as of late is Swansea City. Eight defeats in ten now, they sit rock bottom of the Premier League and that has meant that Paul Clement has been sacked by the club. Like I say, eight defeats in ten, he goes after nearly a year in charge, coming in the 3rd of January this year, obviously being sacked today. Uh, a lot of names have been thrown in straight away, such as Ronald Koeman, Tony Pulis, you know, Welsh keeping teams up. They've both ruled themselves out. Um, it is believed that Frank de Boer is in the running. Now, you remember him, he had a short stint at both Inter Milan and Palace as well. He uh, was obviously at Ajax previously, but most recently at Crystal Palace. At the start of the season, he had a very, very short stint. stint sorry, Four games in charge, no goals, no points, and he was sent packing 
relatively early. Other names on the list include Louis van Gaal, Slaven Bilic and current temporary manager Leon Britton who I say doesn't want the job full time but he's been put in temporary charge and we'll see how he does for the foreseeable future. Finally and it is a bit of world news to end the first episode on and as expected Real Madrid have won the Club World Cup. Now you often like to think it will be the European champions that go on to win this competition and Madrid have done exactly that. The first side to win it back to back uh, beating Brazilian side Gremio in the final. Um, Ronaldo scored the winner. A five time Ballon d'Or champion getting the winner with a free kick um, in the final in Abu Dhabi. That's Madrid's fifth trophy of the year and they are storming ahead at the minute. Although they might be struggling a little bit in La Liga, they're definitely doing very, very well uh, in terms of the trophies this year. So that does wrap up the first episode of Near Post News. I hope you did enjoy it. If you've got any other news that I missed out on today, comment that in the comments down below. Um, tweet me at LRC Browning on Twitter or at Whitelands Media on Twitter as well. Please remember to follow all the socials in the description below. Check out our channel partners. Check out the graphic designer. Check out Whitelands F1 at Whitelands Cricket. That's all in the description as well. Hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.